wonderful to see you again. How are you doing? Very good, thanks. Pleasure to be here. Um, so I just wanted to talk a little bit about this conference. We've had a lot of discussion here about the more nitty gritty or technical aspects of big data, but I wanted your opinion on how do you think that big data is gonna change the life of the average American in the next five to 10 years? Oh, it's gonna change everybody. Um, because I think no longer will you be going to a doctor and dealing with hunch-based medicine. I think some aspects of uh, what we're doing here will feed right into the doctor's office. Two things that'll move very, very rapidly in the next few years, I think. One will be the wearables. So mm -hmm. there are many people who wear lots of devices. I do, you may notice I'm wearing three smart watches. Yeah, that's the uh, most I've seen, three. Yeah, and I have many devices you don't see. I use nine of these kinds of devices every day. What else? Uh, well, I have a Dexcom, which measures my glucose. I have a, a, a scale that sends weight right into my smartphone. Wow. Um, I have some other things that are proprietary. Wow. <laughs> so uh, anyway, the bottom line is I think all of this information, uh, most people just have one, if you will, Yes, uh, you, are, you are a truly quantified human uh, being. Yes, I'm a little unusual. So most people have one. Uh, smartwatch, and I think that will be used in healthcare as one simple example. So as you one. think that we're going to all start wearing some kind of device? I do, because I think people are going to hear about interesting success stories uh, where they may find out they uh, are sick and weren't aware of it, which they will get from their smartwatch. So as a physician, I notice sometimes that when people have more information, it makes them more anxious. Uh, it is true that you will have to decide where you fit in the scale of things. Yes. That is to say, if you are an anxious person, maybe you don't want to get all this information, but I think most, many people will certainly embrace it. Wonderful. And, um, and even if you don't embrace it, you could have this information relayed back to your doctor, uh, and you don't have to look at it. It could go back to them, and they could have a, a red light leaping off if something doesn't look quite right. That sounds like we're going to have to have a, a larger workforce or maybe perhaps different levels of people to interpret the data. How we do you will. think that would work? Uh, we're going to need some pretty sophisticated data science folks mm -hmm. to decide uh, what is a robust clinical test. I don't know how super robust it'll all be, especially initially, but mm -hmm. you may see indicators that something's not quite right that prompt you to go to a doctor's office to see. Uh, to follow up on uh, potentially some, you know, observations that may not, it may suggest things are a little uh, out of whack. Do you think that the drive for this will come more from the folks in the medical community or maybe more from the folks in industry? I think it's going to get, a lot of it's going to come from the consumer. Okay. Uh, I think people are very enamored by these devices. Mm -hmm. I think they, a lot of people, not all, a lot of people want to manage their health better, especially as they get older. And so there's a lot of people running around with Fitbits. There's a reason they were a very successful company. Um, and so I think that kind of information will then just automatically parlay into the uh, medical profession. That's a simple one. You're making me wish that in medical school I had more training as more of a data scientist. It sounds like that's going to have to be the dual role of, of the physician in the future. Well, at least, I mean, for some who want to get in that area, others, you know, who are just uh, givers of health care mm -hmm. can certainly... Uh, collect the information and, and discuss how to manage it. You don't have to be much like imaging is a pretty sophisticated area, but at the end of the day, a lot of physicians simply use those reports. That's true. They don't have to generate them themselves. So almost like a data radiologist. Yeah, exactly. Correctly. Yeah, yeah. Well, thank you so much for that exciting look into the future. Sure.